when you are unsure of where to go, about how to go on. Remember to stop denying at the church. Hear the words of the psalmist from Psalm 46, on which Martin Luther's hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, is based. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. So start at the church. Not because it is perfect, because it most certainly is not. Start at the church, not because the people there have it all figured out. Because they don't. Start at the church, not because churchgoers are more righteous than the next person. Because they aren't. Start at the church because it and the people within it worship a God that is bigger than any confirmation program, any one congregation or denomination, or even the Christian church on earth across space and time. Start at the church because it worships a God who is bigger than and will outlast all calamities and political dissension, a God who will stand firm in the face of war and disaster. A God who will stand by beside his people in times of economic bust. Who stands with his people through hurricanes, floods, and earthquakes. A God who will be with you in the times when the earth gives way below you and the mountains and your mountains of accomplishment crumble into the sea. In those times, Special. Start at the church. Start ever always at the very thing you are affirming this day. Your baptism. Affirming the day God also made promises to claim you as his child, to forgive your brokenness, and to give you continual and everlasting life. Promises that are bigger than a bowl full of water and the church that it sits in. Promises that cannot be taken away from you. Promises that are bigger than any promise you could make or try to keep. After all, if there is anything we as Lutherans celebrate on this Reformation Sunday, it is not our own faith but about the faithfulness of our ever-loving God. So, when you lose your way, start at the church. Start with God. Take a hold of the hope that's already taken a hold of you. And I think, no, I believe, I believe you will find your way from there. And now may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus this day and every day unto life everlasting. This time, I'd like to invite our confirmands forward along uh, with their parents and sponsors. Our affirmation of baptism service is found in the red hymnal um, in the front uh, section, the 
service section, page 234. Dear friends, we give thanks for the gift of baptism and for these people, one with us in the body of Christ, who are making public affirmation of their baptism. Who do you present for baptism? Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for this sister and mother, whom you have made your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called them to yourself, enlighten them with the gifts of your spirit, and nourish them in the community of faith. Uphold your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism, and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of God. The prof pro profession of faith and the renunciation and the section, I invite you, the congregation, to, in, to join the confirmands in uh, the renunciations. I ask you to profess faith, your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son of God. Was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Invite the parents and sponsors to be seated as our compliments will share their statements of faith. We decorated our stoles and talked about our journey through our church and confirmation. 
It was a day filled with deep questions and thoughts that really made me reflect on everything I learned in church. I will take everything I learned in confirmation and in church in general with me as I move forward in life. I know that Jesus will always be with me no matter where I go or what I do. He will always be by my side. I want to thank my family for being supportive of my faith. I would also like to thank Pastor Lauren Anderson and Pastor CJ for being there for me in confirmation. And I would also like to thank Paul Tom. I selected him to be my mentor and he has been there as I've gone through my faith and helped me with video camera and Sunday services. As I end my journey through faith and confirmation, I look forward to being an adult member. My faith means a lot to me. I've been going to church since I was a little child. My mom brought me and my little brother every Sunday. And we would go to Sunday school and we would sit next to our grandparents and sing the hymns. God has helped me through even the worst parts when I thought I was losing my faith. He showed me I was wrong and helped me when my first grandfather passed away of a heart problem in the very start of 2017. My grandmother, who has been suffering as long as I have been alive, passed away two years ago. And my other grandfather never woke up this summer. They followed him into heaven, and they are watching over me as my guardians. My mother, Deb Carter, as I assume you probably know, <laughs> The confirmants and parents and sponsors to again join me at the front of the church. <laughs> I also invite uh, uh, mentors and anyone else who would like to lay on hands at this time. You have made a public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people? To hear the word of God and to share in the Lord's supper? To proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed to serve all people, following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth? If so, respond, I do, and I ask God to help People of God gathered here. Do you promise to support this sister and brother and pray for them in their life in Christ? If so, respond, we do and we ask God to help and guide us. We do and we ask God to help and guide us.
the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. May <coughs> place the touching Isaac close enough. <laughs> Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us a new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Isaac the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and love, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. And in our presence. All right, we'll have the compromands work their way to the front so the congregation can see your lovely faces. Invite the congregation to please stand as you are feet. Let us rejoice with this sister and brother in Christ. We rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world. Let us give thanks for these members of Zion and the body of Christ, who have affirmed their baptisms today. You all may return to your seats, and we will um, remain standing for our hymn of the day, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, hymn 504, in the hymn section of your vantage point.
knowing the one in whom we trust, and with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us, we offer our prayers for the Church, the world, and all in it. Hope of the world, come to us and be in the midst of your Church. Forgive our iniquity and set us free. Set our hope on you, that our mission will indeed be Lord, in your mercy. The whole creation sings out in joy. You care that the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest. Give us that same love for the world you share with us and all creatures. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Happy are those whose strength is in you. Set the hearts of the world of world leaders upon your justice, so that all people live in peace and hope. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Our soul longs for you. Stand by us and encourage us. Give your mercy, healing, and justice to those who are sick and suffering. Today we pray especially for Anita, Betty Jane, Joe, Joyce, Alice, Millie, Dorothy, Rin, Mildred, Tom, Leah, Linda, Arnell, Phil, all those we now name aloud, who are on our prayer list, and those in the quiet of our hearts. We pray that in our longing we will know your rescue and salvation, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Faithful reform, you make all things new. Reform your church so that our life together bears witness to your unmerited love for all. Free us from sin and write the law of love on our hearts. Lord, in your mercy. Faithful Lord, we give you thanks this day for the gift of holy baptism and the eternal promises you make in its life-giving purpose. We give you thanks for these two young men, Isaac and Caleb and the affirmations they have made of their baptisms before you and this assembly. As they grow more fully into their faith, help them to hold on to the hope that has already taken hold of them. Guide them by your grace. Pick them up when they fail, and remind them of your abiding presence always. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. How lovely is your dwelling place now and forever. We remember with thanksgiving your saints at rest in your eternal peace. Especially Jackie Nelson and Marjorie. By their witness, strengthen us for the living of these days. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Trusting and delighting in you, we commend all our lives into your loving hands. We offer these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I invite you to be seated as we continue now with the
stand as you're able for the offering. Let us pray. God of all creation, all you have made is in your love and your spirit. You bring forth bread from the, the earth and fruit from the mouth. Nourish us with these gifts that we might be for the world signs of your graciousness. In Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I invite you to join me in the Lord's Prayer, the traditional translation, as you read. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For God is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. If I should be seated at this time as we continue with our mission, I'm sorry for recycling that joke from the other day. Couldn't help myself. Faster. Uh, in any case, uh, thank you again to everyone uh, who uh, joined us here today, who's visiting uh, particularly for the affirmation of baptism service. And congratulations to Isaac and Caitlin um, on this day. The uh, thing that struck me, uh, Isaac was uh, talking about the confirmation retreat and about the opportunity to ask. Um, and wonder about uh, deep questions about our identity and our faith um, in Jesus Christ. And uh, I'm grateful for the, the two of them. Uh, uh, meeting with someone that they barely knew uh, and hadn't really met before in any uh, reasonable capacity and the, the depth of conversation that we were able to have. I think oftentimes we uh, write off uh, millennials or uh, maybe use that as a term for young people we don't like. Um, as, uh, oh, they're just on their phones, they're just self-absorbed, blah, 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 blah. And certainly, um, that is a problem as it is with every generation. But it's a good, it was a good reminder for me, as it is every time uh, that I work with uh, children and youth, um, that uh, though they're claiming their adult membership today, they were members before. And it's a continuation, we continue to be. That they're thoughtful, articulate people, um, which perhaps sounds obvious, but we forget that about young people. So thank you for coming along with and uh, letting me be a part of your process, even if it was right at the end. And being flexible <laughs> in uh, dealing with multiple learning styles. And I'm glad you found it to be a blessing. It can also be a challenge to have multiple teachers in the course of 
A couple of other um, announcements. Um, we have posted officially our full-time uh, director of faith formation position uh, to uh, do the, the work of not only children, youth, and family here um, at Zion, but looking at uh, breaking down those silos. So we, so not just I, the pastor, but you too uh, if, uh, can get a chance uh, to share faith across generations and across demographics um, that comes across um, in our uh, job description and something that we're really looking for in this, in this person. And I bring that up as good news, certainly, that we will be uh, hopefully adding a new staff person soon. But also, um, if you know of anyone who might be interested, who you think would be a good fit for, for this uh, position, direct them uh, to the, the church office, our web page, um, our Facebook page, we posted it on Indeed. Uh, if they want to call myself up, that's okay too. Uh, we'll, uh, however you want uh, to have them get in, in touch with us and fill out an application, we would be uh, happy to, to take a look. So just to let you know that that is posted. Uh, also wanted to give you an update on uh, the memorial service for uh, our Marge Reed, a member here uh, for many years. Uh, she will have her service uh, November 16th, which is a Saturday, uh, beginning, a visitation beginning at 12 p.m. at Nelson's Funeral Home, and the service will be there at 1 p.m. Uh, with a luncheon to follow. Uh, so uh, just to let you know about that. Uh, finally, uh, next Sunday is All Saints, uh, All Saints Sunday. And so uh, it's an opportunity to remember those in the church who have died uh, and are with our Lord and Savior, uh, an opportunity to grieve their loss, but also uh, with hope remembering that we will see them again on the last day uh, when God makes all things new. Um, and so it's always a good idea to invite people to church, but it's especially a good idea if there's someone you know who is grieving or hurting uh, not just members who have died in this church, but people that they've lost in their own lives. Um, it can be a very meaningful time. Um, so please do uh, make note of that. It is also daylight savings time with a clock change. You have to fall back one hour uh, just to remind you. Although um, it won't hurt my feelings if you're here um, an hour early for church. That's okay. Uh, we can maybe have an impromptu Bible study. So... Those are all the uh, announcements I have at this time. I do invite you to take a look at those other announcements in our calendar as you uh, are able and have time. It's, but I uh, also invite you to stand now as you're able for the uh, benediction and sending song. And invite, also invite any uh, children forward to go grab some instruments in that white basket over there to accompany our closing song. Join in our closing song. I was there to hear your morning cry. 732 in your red hymn. 